everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make this centre panel card. It's very easy to do and you can do this any size that you like. So I've got some detail on the front there and some shine with the glossy accents. And then inside you've got plenty of space to be able to write your message. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so first of all you're going to want a piece of 5 by 9 cardstock. And I'm going to score this along the long side at 2 inches. Then you just want to fold and burnish the top just make sure you burnish that well. You also then want a piece of five by two and this is going to be the bottom part of the card. So that's the only scoring you need to do. The rest is all your mats and layers and your decoration. So this piece here is what I'm going to emboss. I'm using my confetti embossing folder and that's a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So it sits nicely in the folder. So I'm going to run that through in a moment and that's going to go inside the card two pieces of four and three quarters by one and three quarters and they're going to be my matte layers for the top and the bottom panels and then the pattern paper I've got to go over the top is one and a half by four and a half so you'll see how that all lines up on top of each other. For the panel to then join everything together you'll want one piece that's three by five and a half another piece that's two and three quarters by five and a quarter and then a piece of two and a half by five and this is the piece I'm going to stamp my design onto. You also want that same size again to go inside the cards. You'll see I've already stamped my sentiment and I'll show you what I've used in a moment. So I'm going to get these two stuck down, get that embossed and I'm going to stick this one as well. So that's everything all stuck together there. Next I just want to do a little bit of masking so I want to use the bouquet and the funky flowers stamp set. So what I've done is I already have a mask here from a previous project so all that is is I've just stamped the image onto a piece of masking sheet and then just cut around it right up to the black line and you'll have this little low tax sticker. So first of all I want to just position and kind of get everything lined up with where I'm going to want it so I think I need to have about there I think will be fine so I'm going to stamp the hand first like so and then I'm just going to grab that little piece of masking and I'm just going to stick that over the top like so and then I'm going to ink up the bouquet and I'm going to lay this down positioning it over the hand And you'll see that it's stamped over the masking sheet and I've got a little bit of the bouquet popping out underneath at the bottom of the hand there which is what I want so when I peel off the sticker it now looks like it's being held in the hand there. So I'm going to pop that back onto my sheet because I will always use that and then I'm going to add my sentiment. Just there. Okay, and then I'm going to colour this all in. So I'm using just some Arteza coloured pencils here. So I've just got a selection of colours that went really well with this paper pad. So I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes just colouring that all in. Okay, so that's now all coloured in. So next I'm going to add some of my little gems and I'm also going to cover the tulips with some of the glossy accents as well, but I'll do that last. These here I picked up from Amazon quite some time ago now and I think they're just maybe factory kind of seconds maybe. They don't have any adhesive on them and there's a real mix, but there's some really lovely ones and every now and then you get like a random like there's a red heart there for example, all different shapes but they're just so sparkly. If I, again I can find the links I'll try and um, share them below but I'm just going to pull out a few different shapes and colours. You can see there I've got a you know a different kind of little arrangement along there. Make sure you have an odd number, odd numbers always work best. Okay so that's all the gems stuck down so now I'm just going to stick this one over the top of this piece here. Now we can attach it to the card. So with this piece here, you just want to lay it over the top of the card so it runs right along the bottom. Bring that piece down there and then you can just pop some glue along the top and the bottom, like so. And then you just want to lay this 
over the top so you've got a nice equal amount either side and along the top and the bottom there as well. Because I'm using the lines it's quite handy with this paper because I can just line up alongside those. Okay and then you can grab your inside insert sentiment piece, pop some glue on the back of that and then lift this one up and just pop it in the middle here. As long as you get it in the centre the front will cover it. I think that's okay. I'm going to drop that one down and then whilst that's still just drying I'm just going to pop some of the glossy accents just over the flowers. You don't need much just a little bit over all of the kind of buds there. You could add some sparkle pen, Winkostella, anything you want. If I just bring that up now, you can see all that shine that you get. And then you can open the card and inside you've got your space for your message. So it's a really easy card to do, very quick as well if you're just using all of your pattern papers. I'll bring in the other one there as well so you can see that one. I'll bring that one up a bit closer. Will fit into a 5x7 envelope and like I said you can make this any size that you want. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed today's tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and also the little bell notification then you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Also check out some of these other tutorials that are coming up now as well because they might be something that you'll enjoy and you want to watch next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!